Mortgage rates are historically low. Should you be thinking about a refinance? Tune in to Tom's Take right now. So we're in the middle of February, historically low mortgage rates, 3.5% plus or minus on a 30 year fixed loan. So if you're thinking about buying, obviously your affordability is higher than ever. If you're thinking about selling, that means buyers can pay more for your home with the same payment. We've got all that covered. The question enough people aren't asking is when does it make sense to consider a refinance? So there's really three questions you should be asking yourself when you look at your current loan versus what's going to happen if you decide to do a refi. The first is, is your existing rate going to be at least a half a point lower if you decide to refinance? So one half of, of a percent. Years ago, people said if you're not adjusting your mortgage rate by one to 2%, it didn't make sense to refinance. Now with these historically low mortgage rates, you've got to decide if the savings is going to be worth it. And you have to look at what you're actually saving on your monthly payment. So that half a percent is the general rule of thumb. So if you're at a 4.25% right now and you can get down to three and a half, yeah, that probably makes a lot of sense. If you're at a 3.625 rate, so three and five eighths going down to three and a half probably doesn't make sense. So look at the delta between your existing rate and the new rate you'd be able to lock in. That's gonna be your first question to determine if a refinance makes sense. The second one is be careful or Ask yourself, how much of a term are you adding to your loan? Meaning most people, they get a 30 year fixed loan. So that's amortized over 30 years. They don't many, make any extra payments. That's when the loan gets paid off. When people refinance, typically they're already into the term of the loan. So if you're in your home for seven years, you got 23 years left on the term, should you be going to a 30 year or should you consider a 25 year or a 20 year term, because when you add all that extra time onto your loan, you're increasing how much money you're outlaying over time. So be careful how much you're adding to the term of your loan. Typically within five years is where you wanna stay. So the 23 year example is a really good one. So think about keeping that term within five years of your current term with a refinance. And the third question is, how long is it going to take you to recoup your closing costs? That's something a lot of people don't talk about. They think about the savings right away. Okay, I'm gonna save a few hundred bucks on my mortgage payment, that's awesome. Now I can go do this, this, and this, and they have that money allotted for different things. The elephant in the room is that it costs money to close. So a really great way to look at this is see how long it's going to take you to recoup those costs. You take the amount of the closing costs and you divide it by your monthly savings. So let's say you're saving 200 bucks a month and it costs you, 10 grand to close, you do that, that tells you how many payments you're going to have to make before you recoup those costs. So the general rule of thumb again is it shouldn't take you that long to recoup your closing costs. So once you analyze it that way, is the drop in rate going to be at least a half a percent? How much time are you adding to the term of the existing loan? And how long is it going to take you to recoup your closing costs? Then you're gonna have a definitive answer of if refinancing your loan makes sense or not. So obviously I'm not a banker. I know a lot about this stuff and I know a lot about rates. So if you got any questions about this, I'm happy to put you in touch with the right lenders. If you need anything, wanna talk more, you know where to reach me. Otherwise we'll be back next week.